and news just coming in stone pelters have targeted the us consulate in chennai we'll get you more details we'll get you more update on the story you've been seeing what's been happening in egypt in libya in tunisia in morocco now there are protests in chennai the us consulate in chennai stone pelters have targeted it of course there's massive massive police deployment in the area the jammu and kashmir police had already asked the center to block those offensive trailers uh, of of uh, innocence of islam those that film uh, on youtube government of jnk has already asked the center to block it the center is taking steps to ensure that it is blocked it's written uh, to the computer emergency response team there that's already been done but protesters have taken to the streets in chennai we're getting breaking news the us consulate in chennai stone pelters reach there they've targeted the embassy we'll get you more ground reports on this but center sources in the ministry of home affairs think there is adequate police deployment not just at the us embassy in delhi but also in us consulates across the country shabir uh, ahmed now joins me from chennai for more on this shabir what's the latest well as of now uh, the situation is under control uh, but still there are uh, protesters who are uh, uh, standing uh, in a nearby place and shouting slogans against uh, uh, USA and the film uh, this was basically a protest to condemn uh, the film that was uh, that has created controversy and that has brought uh, so many embassies and others uh, under attack uh, so this was uh, a muslim outfit uh, which wanted to protest uh, in chennai but later on it turned out to be violent the people here who were uh, really emotional they started pelting stones and breaking the glasses of the us embassy in chennai despite uh, uh, police protection uh, the mob was very strong more than 500 people i am told were at the spot and they were uh, raising slogans against the americans and condemning the film they wanted this film to be blocked in india and still even as i speak there is a mob of uh, more than 300 to 400 people standing at the corner of uh, uh, the street and raising slogans and protesting against the uh, the film uh, that has been that has created controversy and right now uh, senior officials of uh, uh, tamil nadu police and chennai police are here trying to assess what went wrong because uh, they were uh, uh, allowed uh, so close uh, near uh, the, the the embassy and that is why perhaps uh, uh, this entire incident uh, took place here in chennai no but the police in chennai need to explain why were protesters permitted to come so close to the uh, to, to the consulate because there were intelligence inputs that seem to indicate that something like this could happen why weren't adequate security measures put in place by the chennai police well that's a big question here because usually whenever there is protest against us embassies or in front of us embassies in chennai usually protesters are not allowed uh, near uh, uh, us embassy they, they they will be cordoned off in a, in, a, in an area which is completely away from the us embassy but right now uh, what has happened is the more than 500 protesters were allowed to protest right on the doorstep of the us embassy and that's why things went out of control people here uh, the uh, people belonging to the muslim outfit were raising slogans were very emotional they were burning flags of the usa they were burning effigies of uh, yes. obama and others and they started pelting stones uh, breaking the window panes and also breaking even even damaging the cctv camera which will have some kind of crucial evidence on what went wrong here at the us embassy in chennai but right now this soon this uh, area has been brought under the control of the chennai police they are their senior officials of the police are here but this is something which has never happened in chennai usually there are protests but nobody has ever attacked the us embassy because uh, uh, so far whenever there is a protest in chennai these people are not allowed at the doorstep and that's the uh, right uh, and the fire seems like to be spreading what started in egypt went to libya tunisia morocco tehran now of course there were some protests in jammu and kashmir now protests here in chennai clearly the united states needs to take effective steps as several representatives of islamic countries have said ban this video ban this film innocence of islam take action against those who made such a film freedom of expression is okay but it shouldn't infringe on somebody's religious beliefs that is what several islamic countries have come forward and said 
Egypt's President Morsi is speaking to the US President Barack Obama. We'll track all developments on this story. For the moment, Shabir, many thanks for joining me. Keep tracking that story. Ask the Chennai police why did they permit protesters to come so close to the US consulate in Chennai. For the moment, many thanks for joining us.